Good afternoon. My name is Dr. Ray Heilman, and I'm the chair of the Division of, of Nephrology here at Mayo Clinic Arizona. In addition, I'm the medical director of the kidney transplant program here. What I'd like to talk with you uh, this afternoon is about uh, kidney transplantation and ways of increasing options for people who need life-saving life -saving, uh, kidney transplant. Imagine yourself uh, with a chronic kidney disease on dialysis, going into a dialysis facility for four hours three times a week, week after week, month after month, and year after year. And that's the situation that I'd like to address with you. If a person has end-stage kidney disease and is on chronic dialysis, they have the option of either waiting or either staying on dialysis or kidney transplantation. Now the benefits of a kidney transplant are that people who get a successful kidney transplant have a longer life expectancy and a better quality of life compared to people that elect to stay on dialysis. So as you can see, some, some uh, important benefits. Now there's two types of kidney transplant. There's deceased donor transplantation and living donor transplantation. Now deceased donor transplantation is when you get on the list called the UNOS United Network of Organ Sharing List, and you wait until an organ becomes available. The problem is that um, there's more than 80,000 people on the uh, waiting list for transplant here in, America, in the United States, and we're only able to do about 15,000 transplants a year. So as you can see, it's going to take several years, and the average wait for a kidney transplant in the United States is about five years. So um, as a result, about half of kidney transplants now are living donor transplants. Now all of us have two organs, uh, two, uh, excuse me, all of us have two kidneys. And if we're healthy, we can donate one kidney to another individual. And when we do that, we have no higher risk of developing kidney disease later in our lives. In addition, a person who donates a kidney doesn't have to change their lifestyle in any way. So they won't have to change their diet, their work, their exercise, they won't need any special medications. So in other words, you can say um, the risk of developing kidney disease is the same with one kidney as if you had two kidneys, and there's no impact on your lifestyle afterwards. Now, uh, you can donate a, uh, somebody can donate a kidney to you if you need a kidney transplant, if they're uh, healthy, and if they are, you know, are usually between 18 and about 70 years of age, and um, they are compatible. And so compatible means that their blood types are compatible with you. Now the problem is there are many people with chronic kidney disease who have uh, individuals, loved ones, or f family members, or friends who would like to be uh, donors, but they're not compatible. They, let's say they have a, a blood type incompatibility. It wouldn't be safe for that individual to donate to you. So what uh, a new development in the last couple of years is the concept of uh, paired donor exchange. So the, the idea here is that you and your uh, potential donor uh, enter into a, a list and there's another uh, donor recipient pair who have the same problem. But if your donor and the donor from the other recipient donor pair switch, then each of you can get a safe transplant. So this is paired donor exchange. And we're very excited by this development in the transplant community because we envision that it's going to allow for many more people uh, who have chronic kidney disease to receive living donor transplants. So uh, they'll be able to get off dialysis with a longer life expectancy and a better quality of life. And it'll also take some of the pressure off the deceased donor list. So how does this work? Well, we're excited because uh, we were able to perform our first um, three-way paired exchange here at uh, Mayo Clinic Arizona just in the last week. And, this, and the scenario here was that the first donor came from Columbia University in New York. And they donated a kidney that was then uh, shipped uh, by commercial air to uh, University of, Calif uh, University of uh, California in San Francisco. And at that institution, the uh, recipient received that kidney transplant. And the, on the same day, the donor at that institution donated their kidney that morning, 
And that kidney was then shipped from San Francisco here to uh, Phoenix, where our recipient here at Mayo Clinic Arizona received a, a kidney transplant. And then the donor here at Mayo Clinic Arizona started their operation at 7.30 in the morning, and their kidney again was shipped to uh, University of California in Los Angeles, where a third recipient received a living donor kidney transplant. So in an 18-hour period, uh, there were uh, six operations and three uh, uh, kidney transplants performed. I, I'm very happy to tell you that all the uh, donors and recipients have done very well and have gotten out of the hospital. So this is a great opportunity for people with chronic kidney disease to uh, receive a living donor kidney transplant uh, that they might not have otherwise received if it weren't for the um, opportunity of paired donor exchange. So this is an important development in, in the um, community or in the, in the practice of kidney transplantation, and we're very happy to, uh, uh, to have offered this here at Mayo Clinic Arizona. We anticipate that this is going to be an important um, treatment option for a number of people uh, in the future. Thank you very much.